Hey guys and welcome to the latest Bicycling Australia video. So here is the scoop. Around a month ago we turned up at FE Sports in Brisbane with a box. Inside the box was Campagnolo Super Record 12 speed. So the plan was to install the 12 speed onto this frame set. However, the frame was sent from the Ridgely factory in Belgium with Shimano Altegra. So we had to uh, remove, as you can see here, Josh is removing the Shimano group set. Then we had one week to road test the Ridley with Campagnolo 12 speed before Josh was again given the task of taking off that 12 speed Campag and refitting the Shimano for the bike's dealer launch. There's a full review of this bike and group set in the current edition of Bicycling Australia magazine. This video will show that build process. Take it away, Josh. Guys, some, some people just might be shocked by banging the bottom bracket this. with a huge hammer. Tell yeah, us, yeah. Is that, that's just bulletproof, eh? It's fine. Yeah. yeah, like, consider what you put through it, like, yeah. thousand watts plus, it's fine. Th me, thousand, well, well, not me. But I guess what we're saying is it's Hanson tough, so it can handle anything. Exactly, right? It can handle a big hammer. Is, this, is it a lot quicker to pull apart than put together? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> pulling apart is the easy part. It's the, uh, it's the assembly that takes more time and effort. There we go, so Josh, just tell us what, what we're up to now, mate. Um, cables in the frame. Starting to get somewhere, I guess. A little bit of a process getting all the cables in, in and out of the handlebars, as you can see. Okay. There's a lot of, lot of stuff going on. A lot going on, it's all hidden. Not a cable to be seen, except up the rear end there. Three o'clock, time for coffee hit. 
and Matt is the product manager for 3T in Australia and he's going to draw a 3T Explorer on the top of this cup. Hey. And the, <laughs> clearly gravel. Where's the Explorer, man? That's not very good at this. <laughs> Josh has built the bike and now he is test riding it. Your final thoughts, you've both ridden the bike this afternoon? It's fantastic. And I think smooth. Very smooth. Put that down to a good mechanic, such as this this gentleman. So I think uh, a lot of it comes to putting it together properly and actually making sure that things work the way they're meant to, rather than the way that they're assumed to work. Yeah. So just in a nutshell, what we've got is basically the next year's model Noah uh, Fast, yet to be released, um, with 12 speed. So I guess the same range, but just a smoother sort of smooth changer between smooth changes between the gears. Yeah, and you, because you've got one extra cassette um, sprocket, it's going to mean that you've got um, less change in ratio between your gears. So for people that are wanting to run wide range cassettes, uh, it, it is a bit better for the road market, I think. It definitely makes a lot of sense for people. So we always sort of um, joke around, it's like how many gears would it take to do a one by, but I think the reality is the market's still here for this and it's, it's a good market. Awesome. Well said, mate. Guys, thank you so much for all your time today, all your work. No worries. And look forward to seeing you again. Yeah, thanks for easy. Yeah, come in and bring us a 12 speed group set. Get out there and have some fun.